I wouldn't say I had a light bulb moment. I was obviously interested in the emerging story of the Zika epidemic in Brazil and elsewhere. The Zika virus infects the patient and it then crosses over into the brain and then it very specifically attacks the stem cells in the brain. Patients with glioblastoma brain tumours have abnormal stem cells which are growing and causing those tumours to grow. It's a disease that we can't properly treat with surgery. We can help with the disease but we can't cure it. It seemed uh, very interesting and exciting to me that we had here a virus that seemed to very specifically attack the, the very stem cells that, that we're trying to control in, in these brain tumours. I've applied for something called a Pioneer Award, um, which Cancer Research UK are offering for novel ideas um, that need uh, some, some basic uh, investigation to, to get them going. The Zika virus causes only mild clinical symptoms in adult patients um, and it doesn't transmit patient to patient without tropical mosquitoes. So I can see a situation in which we could use the Zika virus or maybe a modified form of it in the clinic um, to help with our brain tumour treatment. But that's a great many steps ahead and we've got a lot of work to do before we're, we're anywhere near that.